Davis and this is my horse Nick and we're going to talk today about loading into a horse trailer. As long as you and your horse have been loading in and it works for you, keep doing what you're doing and what kind of trailer you're using and the horse will have a lot to do in how you load. But the main thing is you want to be safe for you and your horse. So let's go put Nick in the trailer and see how he does. Notice how Nick is looking at the trailer. He's got his ears up. He's ready to go into the trailer. So I always want to make sure before I put my horse in that the slant's open, the door's open, the trailer's clean, the hay's in there, and everything's ready for Nick to walk on in. I've seen a lot of horses run into the trailer, dragging the owner with them. They shouldn't do that. It's unsafe for you, and it's unsafe for the horse if he slips. So you want the horse well disciplined and in hand when you take him to the trailer. Nick always stops for me to go into the trailer, and then I ask him to come with me. Come on, Nick. I have my lead rope hung in here all the time, adjusted to the right length for Nick. So all I have to do is attach it to his halter, and he's got his lead rope. The lead rope, right now, I just drop on the ground. I always keep my hand on Nick's side so he knows where I am all the time, pat him, then I have him move over a little Nick, and then he moves his butt over, and I slam lock him in. He's now in the trailer and ready to go, except I have to fix my lead rope. I don't like my lead rope hanging on the ground. Nick will turn his head to me because he knows this is our procedure. So I just pull the lead rope out and pull it up all the way. I have a 10 foot lead rope on there and then I braid it through here just to make sure he doesn't step on it. Once Nick's in the trailer, it's time to shut the door. I shut it, latch it, bring down the double latch and then I have a keeper on there, which I really, really like because we've all heard about trailer doors coming open. So it just snaps on there. It can be easily gotten off in an emergency. It's not locked on, but I make sure this door stays shut. I don't like the window down because I don't like that wind blowing in his face and his eyes. The horse is a prominent eye. And at 55 miles an hour speed limit in California for towing trailers, you've got a lot of little pieces of dirt and grime going in there. The window behind him is open so that he gets ventilation there. Plus the top vents are open, plus all the windows on the other side of the trailer. So he's never too hot in the trailer. I just feel I'm protecting his eyes better and not looking down the road somewhere where he may have an eye problem. Nick, he sees himself. <laughs>